Now, I don't buy house plants, and I wanted to show you this because this was a $30 plant, and I won't pay that. And I was at Home Depot, and they had a whole row of them hanging. But underneath, I had noticed four or five little pieces that had fallen to the floor. People were stepping on them and crushing them, and I picked them up off the floor. And I brought them home, and my son was like, they're going to get upset at you. And this was Home Depot. They, they saw me doing it. Even the cashier saw them in my hand. And I told him, they're not going to say anything. And they didn't. And I brought them home and put them in water. It took a month for them to root. And look at this. It's beautiful. Out of three or four little pieces, they, I had to break some of them off, cut it, because they were, you know, damaged really bad. But it's turned out to be a beautiful pot. So next time you see some laying on the floor in the store, bring them home and save their life. You end up the beautiful plant for free. Now this is a garden of mine, and I'm showing it to you for a reason. This is potatoes. Now I'm trying to grow potatoes, some squash, tomatoes, and garlic. And that's about it. And oh, some poblano peppers. Winds have beat this really, really bad. This is a place I would normally put my garden, but. I don't put it there anymore. I have done everything I can to protect them. I would, you know, cover the zucchini. Well, what would happen is I had to spend so many days with the zucchini covered. They never produced the fruit. So, I saw a video. There's this woman that she grows everything in totes. So, I had some totes and decided I'm going to try this and see if it really works. I tried growing the seeds inside and... A lot of them never came up, and the ones that did, I think, look sickly. Now, this is some poblano peppers. My son bought me two plants, but I actually grew some in the pots. Now, they say you can grow peppers in buckets, pots, whatever. And these are some old um, garbage cans, plastic, that I don't use. Now, this right here is uh, potatoes. <laughs> I'm but said I'm putting them everywhere. Um, I replanted some of the squash. I just put dropped a couple of seeds down in there because some of them I do not look like the way they look. I'm gonna get me some fish emulsion and put in there. Um, especially here. Now this is a white squash. It's a scalloped. Uh, I forget what it's called, but it's actually white. It's not zucchini. I don't care for the plants. I think they look very yellow and I don't know. But I planted a couple and you see how green? They're, they're much nicer looking when you plant them direct in the soil. And so the next time if I grow the totes again, I'll do it directly in the soil. Now that's some uh, poblano chilies that I did directly in the soil. And they're perfectly fine. They're growing great. We'll see what happens. Chili is one of those things you don't have to, it can grow all year. Now, I want to just talk to you, you know, one of the reasons I don't go grocery shopping. I, I really, really don't. Um, my son says that I'm the only person he knows that eats the way I do. That, you know, I'm happy with whatever I've got. And I just do not buy like other people buy. I just don't. And so, yes, there's some serious issues. I can tell you, I can see it for myself. I can imagine how difficult it is for many, many people. I mean, this is terrible if you are a person that does a lot of shopping at the store, and, and a lot of people do, and you go in, and this is what the shelves look like. This is bad. Now, it doesn't affect me. But this is bad for a lot of people. A lot. Now, I have said in other videos, basics. Beans, flour, sugar, and rice. Things that you really couldn't grow yourself. And you don't have to grow every single thing and eat every single thing. You know, we don't have to... See, I don't like carrots. I don't like peas. And I don't like um, green beans. I like broccoli. I like Brussels sprouts, spinach, uh, and cauliflower and cabbage. But we have different tastes. 
And I'm going to grow some cauliflower and some greens and different things like that in the fall. Not right now. It's too hot. They will bolt on me. But we don't have to have everything we see at the store. Now, there is a lot of things you can do. See, I can, if I wanted fish, which catfish is my favorite fish, it's $10 a pound. And the people, I mean, if you wanted three pounds, you're looking at 30 bucks. Well, if you don't, if you don't buy groceries in an entire month, you're going to say you couldn't afford to buy fish once a month? Yeah, you could. If you if you really like that ribeye steak, now see, I don't like ribeye. I don't like beef. I, I don't like the taste. I think they, forever in a day, I have thought, they overcharge for a meat that tastes like a shoe. It's tough. See, a lot of people don't know that because they were never raised. My dad killed his own beef. He used to have cattle. And we never ate beef at the grocery store. And that was the best, most tender beef I've ever eaten. And I have never liked beef from a store since. And so we've gotten away from real food. What is real food? And, but this is a real issue for a whole lot of people. Because they go and they really, truly depend on this. They do. And they're at the mercy of something because there's a whole lot of things that they're not going to find. Or it's going to be so pricey, they can't afford it. And the thing about the prices is they jump like a yo-yo. You can go in and get a three count of eggs, one price today... The next day, it's gone lower, and a few days later, it's gone even higher. So it's fluctuating. I mean, okay, these hot wings right here, on occasion, I used to buy them, and I kept them in my freezer for when I was really busy, when I had a really busy day and I had a lot to do. I could quick run in, throw those in the oven, and just heat them up and make something to go with them, coleslaw, the, 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 um, a potato salad, I couldn't think of a name, and dinner was ready. I won't pay the price for those. They ain't worth it. They are not worth the price they're asking for, so I no longer buy them. Now, that's a choice I made because, see, I could buy them. I could, but like I said, I don't buy groceries. So, I could buy them, but I won't. You understand? Because I don't think they're worth the money. I don't. Now, I think catfish is worth the money. I love catfish. Now, it's gone to $10 a pound. For three pounds, you're looking at $30. Well, for some people, they would say that's a lot of money. But if you don't go grocery shopping all month long, $30 on groceries for a fish, to me, I don't think is a lot of money. Because I like that fish. But if you take a look at what, I mean, everything... The prices have gone ridiculous. This corn beef ain't worth that much price. They lost their mind. This, this ain't worth this either. This, this is crazy. It's crazy what they're asking for, but even what's there is not very much of it. Well, I hope you'll take this time to subscribe because I'm coming up with some videos that is really going to show you some very important things that you need to do that you will help you survive this upcoming food shortage. And it's, it's going to get far, far worse. But you don't have to be afraid. There are things you can do that will protect you and your family. And you don't have to hoard. You just don't. But you're going to have to learn to do for yourself. That's right. And you're going to have to learn to eat food, real food. So subscribe so you don't miss any of the notifications because I'm going to show you some things that will be absolutely, extremely helpful in these upcoming far worse hard times.